What up, y'all? What up, y'all? This is KP. Uh, about to speak on a little something. Um, again, I do speak on gang stuff a lot. Uh, but I'm going to speak on this one. And it's still kind of gang related. Well, it is gang related to a certain point. Um, but I could tell you, as a youngster... And I mean, I'm 46 now, but as a youngster, there was one state that I hated more than any other place in the United States. That one state was Cali. I had a lot of hate for Cali, um, and it was for certain reasons. But I can say as a youngster, this is the reason why I hated Cali. I would, I refuse. And it's crazy because I still won't wear anything, even sports related. Um, I won't wear anything that says LA. I want anything that says Cali. I won't, I, I don't wear anything that has anything affiliated with Cali. Um, and reason being, when I was young, my uncle, one of my uncles lived in Cali. Um, he would come visit Denver every year with his kids. Um, and like, I'm big on my family. And to be honest, I, like I said, I, I probably should be over that Cali part, but I probably never will. Um, and I mean, I've been to Cali and Cali is a nice place to visit. I mean, so it's not like, it's not like I've never been and don't like what I see there. It's the fact is I think it's more of the people who probably are gang bangers or people that might not be gang bangers, but they always using Cali as like a scare tactic. So like it might be a food that and I and I didn't have beef with foods like that just in growing up in Denver, where you get somebody that again they might not even be a gangbanger, but the first food that's always yelling out, Oh nigga, I'm from LA or I'm from Compton or I'm and they always use it as a scare tactic. And again, I'm not saying I don't know how tough them cities is. I ain't been in them cities. I'm quite sure if I went to one of them cities, I would be okay because what I've been in plenty of cities is you mind your business and real recognize real. But going back to that story, like I said, what made me have hate for Cali as a youngster, um, my uncle who lived in Cali, he uh, was wrongfully killed. So what ended up happening is there was Bloods and Crips fighting at a gas station. And after that fight had happened, my uncle just happened me to pull up to that gas station Ain't got nothing to do with gangs. He wasn't in no gang. He didn't have nothing to do with that stuff. But he ended up going to that gas station. He pulls up. He has a blue cutlass. So as he pulls into this gas station, again, because of what had just happened, somebody starts shooting. My uncle loses his life. Um. So again, as a youngster, and again, I, I and I know my uncle didn't have nothing to do with no gangs and nothing like that. Um, but as a youngster, that like messed me up because then like I love my uncle, and as, as I said, he would come to Denver every year with his my other little cousins and all them. They would come, and my grandma was big on all her kids. So you know what I'm saying? If you hurt somebody that hurts my grandma, that means you hurt me. And again, I never found out 
I think I know what hood it was or set that it was. And I'm going to check into that more now that I am older and now that I'm thinking about it. But I could say that situation with my uncle changed a lot. Like I said, it, it made me hate Cali. Like it, and again, when fools use it as a scare tactic to try to be tough with it, most people who try to use that towards me toughly got punched in their face. And it was with like that. I didn't waste no time. I just punched you dead in the face. And this is, I said, this is when I was younger. Right now, if you probably use it, I'm going to laugh at it because, I mean, that's, again, this has been years. Um, and I can also save him from this situation. Sadly, with my uncle dying, even to this day now, if people know me or, yeah, people that know me know that every car I drive is going to look different than somebody else's car. So even though they make millions of the same car, my car is always going to be something different on my car is going to be where you knew it was me and not somebody else. And I mean, I hate that it had to be a tragedy like that, but I really like if everybody's car is red and we got the same kind of car, I'm going to go put something on that car that's just going to make you know, oh, no, that's KP. That ain't whoever that was. So something's going to stand out to wherever you know. So even, like I said, in that situation with my uncle, it, I mean, and, and it just, like I said, it was just wrong place, wrong time. But I don't even want to say that. I mean, it's the fact is it was a bunch of dummies who, I guess, in the heat of the moment or whatever it may be, did something stupid. Um, and as I said, I speak on gang stuff because I know about gang stuff. I've been around it. And I can even go further because, as I said, I know it has something to do with Bloods who did it. So, again, there was a big hatred on that part, too. Like, I hated Bloods. And I, I said, I ain't even got, I never got put on a hood or nothing. But if I ever would have got put on one, it wouldn't have been no Bloods. Um, I despise them for again for years and like I said I didn't I wasn't banging on nobody trying to do it but it was just like the fact is them is the factors that made me hate have a lot of hate for them situation and the ones I grew up in Denver with I don't think they had nothing to do with it unless they was connected with Cali some kind of way but lastly besides that when DJ Quick came out with that damn song talking about want to be like Compton, that made me hate Cali too because I was like, because again, I grew up in Denver and then you throw out this song and again, I grew up in Denver and I don't feel like Denver want to be nothing like Cali. Um, I ain't never seen nobody trying to be like Cali. Yes, is there gangs with Names from Cali that's in Denver, yes. Um, though, as I said, when DJ Quick came out with that song, I took that personal. Like, man, like, hold on, like, you talking about me too? So I was like, but so again, all of that was just factors. Like, why I didn't like Cali? And as I said, these was years ago. I'm fine with it now. Like I said, I've been to Cali a few times. Matter of fact, the last time I was even in Cali, I was in San Diego and some food started shooting. And 
it made me think I was back in Denver because I'm walking down the street and all of a sudden some food starts shooting at a car. And I'm like, damn, like, uh, that's how they doing it around here. And San Diego is a, to me, is a beautiful city. I went to vacation there and like what I've seen there. But that was like the end of my vacation there was to really see somebody over there shooting at somebody else. Um, and I thought San Diego was predominantly white neighborhood, but even that shooting was, and that's off the topic of what we were saying, but uh, I'm ending on that.